good afternoon. We're off into Hove for lunch. We're going to get food with this, these two. They're still here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we're going to test out a place that we saw a sign outside of that said it had vegan sandwiches. Said it or had a vegan sandwich. At or least. there's a vegetarian place, I think. So um, we'll have to go find out. Great. <laughs> They have a falafel. Falafel? They have a falafel sandwich. <laughs> what sauce did you get? Hot chili. It's really good lighting. This vlog is just, I guess these vlogs are just videos of us eating. These two are such twins, look at them. Twin couple. <laughs> Maddie, look. Maddie. Oh, look at it. How cool. Woo! So, we all remember that glorious video when we got this fantastic bed for only £40. Well, there's been a bit of a problem with it. Just before Christmas, I hopped on it right at the top over there. Just like jump in like you normally would. You hear that? And we heard the sound of like a snap underneath. Um, we looked, at first we thought it was like, that was shape. Underneath here you've got all the slats and stuff. I thought I'd broken one of them or one of them had come out. And we couldn't see anything wrong. But then we looked closer and noticed. Look. <sighs> oh, it's a heavy bed. Whoa, that metal bar up there, you see it? It's kind of sheared off and dropped down. So now it feels like when you're lying in bed, like the bed is about to collapse at any minute. So I'm gonna try and fix it. I don't know how successful I'll be. But I also found for the slats, which were in my car, because I've now cleaned my car out. Sorry for not filming that. I did it over Christmas and it was very satisfying. You all remember how dirty it was. Did you see that there? Kind of hard, it's still on the tripod. Yeah, so when you lie in bed at the top, that just falls down. Because this bit is meant to rest on top. You can kind of see the metal's like, I think it's meant to point down, now it's pointing out because the metal is like sheared off. So I'm not sure what to do. Okay, so I think I've cracked it. I think maybe if I take all the slats off, get that big silver bar, and flip it around. When you're in bed, there's not much weight going on your feet, is there? So if I switch it around, maybe that'll help. Yeah, look at that. Look how diagonal it is down. That's meant to look like that, and it's done that. Bend up. I'm not sure if I can bend that back. The metal sheared. Just you can just about see it there. That's crazy. That's thick metal. Clearly, I'm much heavier than I thought I was. Maddie's watching Friends. Don't worry, I volunteered to do this on my own. I've got my 
box of tools. I have to have my tools! I'm gonna try it with these pliers that are meant for like a watch. If all else fails, maybe the bike pedal lever. I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> I'll have to get back to you on this one. One cut finger later, I think I've got there. I bent it back as much as it could. So that's in, sort of. And now the one which takes all our weight is right up here. I hope that fixes it. I guess we've just got to not jump on the bed. We'll test it out later tonight. Know what I mean, know what I mean. That's nuts, that's nuts. Know what I mean, say no more, know what I mean. I know you've all been dying for a video about fixing a bed. So here it finally is. Let's get this stuff back on. Time for a sleep test, I think. Ah, perfect. Good night. What do we think? How did you fix it? I switched the giant metal beam around. And I thought you said I spoke to the giant metal beam. I spoke to the giant metal, what does it say? the giant metal beam in the sky. What does it say? And he shone his grace down what, upon. Did you switched it with the bottom. Well, I switched it at the bottom, and they kind of, because you know how it's like bent up. Mm. I sort of bent it back a bit. Uh, you might yeah. notice it this way because it's not where your pressure's going. Because before it felt like you were falling. That's what down. I mean. And also, I found as much. one of those. I found one of the screws, so the slats will be more even. Okay. But as long as I think it was me because I like jumped on the bed once. Yeah, you did. Let's just not do that, okay? I'm going to bed at eight. Eight fifteen. Yeah, I I'm so tired because the last two nights. It's really strange, like Christmas time, well normally I don't, we just don't, we haven't been socialising much since we moved here. No. Apart from like my family and my sister a couple times. And then Christmas, you see all your family, you see loads of your friends, and I've just done so much social interaction recently, I'm mm. just, it exhausts me. I think like Christmas is supposed to be the most relaxing period, but... It's like, tire. it's more yeah, tiring, it's more tire I think. it's more tiring than just doing this. So we've been... Today, or well, last night we stayed up till one in the morning, and then the day before we stayed up till one in the morning. Well, last night we stayed up till maybe like two in the morning, maybe. Yeah. And the night before it was one in the morning, we didn't get home till like, in bed till like two, it's like two really late nights, on yeah. top of like, not just like staying up late doing nothing, but staying up late chatting and talking and like all that type of thing and enjoying yourself and laughing. That is like, makes you tired. Yeah, it's really, really fun, but it Yeah, you... really fun. Really nice to see all our friends, oh, but it does tire you out. Me. I'm one of those people who like, I like, I'm like half and half. I like hanging out with people, then I really need to like have time to just be by myself. Like a week alone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> need the balance. I feel so, like everyone's like that though, aren't they? Yeah. Really. Or I don't know, maybe some people aren't. Most people I'm friends with are kind of like that, I think. Yeah, you need some time to yourself. I've spoken about this with my friends before. <laughs> and they've been like, yeah, no, I am. I feel like that too. Like, you need like time to be like, no, nope, I need to be by myself now. Like with you, I'm like, no, can, you have to go. Like Alex and I sometimes just spend ages like in separate rooms because like an unspoken rule. rule. Yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm very tired. It's eight o'clock, so I'm gonna go to bed now. The night's just begun for me. No, it hasn't. You're coming to bed. The, someone just came round to the flat opposite, and clearly they're just about to start having a party, and Maddie's getting into bed um, to go to sleep with Kitty. It's a f thing is though, because the last two days have been our weekend. Yeah. It's a Friday night, so it's the weekend, but we don't have weekends because we're self-employed. So. Anywho. Oh. Kitty says good night. Good night, Kitty. Welcome back to the vlog. <coughs> don't forget to comment if you um, enjoy. I don't know what I'm saying. Don't forget to comment if you enjoy. Comment if you preferred the bushy beard. Comment if you prefer me over Alex. Hmm. Don't <laughs> disable comments. <laughs> I, I should set myself up for failure there, haven't I? Yeah. Because they will love you. <laughs> you told me to shave because I. You said I had such like a. A cut jawline, but I think I've put on weight, so I don't anymore. No, we were talking about how thin Alex was in certain pictures here when he was when I first met him. Yeah, when I was 18, sure. Yeah, you're really thin. Not anymore. You're perfect now. You're healthy. Oh. You're still really skinny, but you're not you're not like thin. Like thin is I think you you weren't healthy at that stage, whereas now you're healthy and you're still slim. When I use the word thin, I mean 
Alex used to have one meal a day and it would be like a takeaway. So he's just like lacking in nutrients and just not taking care of himself. Whereas now you take care of yourself, mm. you eat enough food, so you I'm a pretty, filled out. Pretty broad. I don't, we didn't film it. No, when we uh, saw my friend from, saw some of my friends from university on, two days ago it was, and I sat next to him and he said, oh, that's a nice jumper. I was wearing this one. It really shows off your small chest. <gasps> Who said that? <laughs> Harvey. <sighs> Why did he say that? Because he's joking. Oh, I don't get it. I don't he's just being mean to you. Yeah, pretty much. This is the difference between boys and girls. Like, if a, a girl would never, ever say something like yeah. that to her friend, that's horrible. I don't take it seriously. You know, I know that a girl would. I would, if a girl- At least like, not in public. If a girl like mocked my physical appearance, I'd be like, all oh, right. Okay, I know maybe it, it's a different thing that guys it do. It is different. Yeah. It is, guys just mock each other because it's funny and you just, that's how I know you know your friends. He means it in an endearing, yeah. friendly, friendly way. A friendly way. A friendly way. Boys mean it in a friendly way. Yeah. I've talked for ages. I have. I feel like we haven't like sat down and chatted about our holidays or anything. It's just kind of been straight back in. We've well, showed them a video of it. Yeah, but Something I want to like... show all the presents I got. Okay, tomorrow Alex will show you all the presents he I mean, got. the main present I got, uh, I'm holding right yeah. now, so. Alex will show you what great girlfriend I am. And I'll show what you, did you what get great... Uh... It's right next to you, mate. Oh. Kitty. No. Oh, you just pulled my hair out. Okay, oh, I, I know what it is. Now, I can't show you. We'll show you tomorrow. Good night, it's a secret. everyone. Okay. Hooray for Say the fix. Say good night to Nina. Bed. Say good night to Nina. I've had her since I was how old. Alex got me this when I was eighteen. It was half price. Well, didn't you get it when I was eighteen? I think so. Yeah, I've had this for five, six, seven years. Look at her. It's kind of forced this Hello Kitty. I made a joke yeah. that I thought Hello Kitty was super lame and like not super lame, but I was like, oh, isn't Hello Kitty really funny because. It's so garish and girly and just over the top and it's sold everywhere. And yeah. then Alex, I, I think it was some chocolate. I was like, oh, how weird is it that Hello Kitty can just sell chocolate and people will buy it. It's just mm. so silly. And then he bought me this as a joke. And then I kind of fell in love with everything Hello <laughs> Kitty because I just fell like, in love with Nina. She's the best pillow and the best cuddler. Yeah, she's called Nina. Nina, I have Lola as well. Lola's at my house at home. You left her? Uh, what did Cornwall. you mean to leave her? Yeah, I had both of them here and I thought actually it's smart to have Lola at home so when I go back to Cornwall, I have Lola to cuddle and when I'm here, I have Nina to cuddle. Nina's slightly nicer to cuddle because she does, Lola has big bunny ears. I have to wash her every now and then because she gets grubby from my like makeup and stuff. And her general skin. Yeah, mine is pretty grubby. Okay then. All right. All right. I'm off to enjoy my evening. Oh. Good night. <laughs>